this um, this human, this person is not always filled up with your being, right? And then there is always this um, trying to get it from out there, trying to find that thing, whatever it is, to fill you up from out there, to give you that feeling of fulfillment or fill up some need. And normally, usually, that doesn't last long. It was there and then it's gone. It was satisfying for a moment and gone. Until that search becomes conscious and you know beyond all doubt that what you're looking for is inherent within you. And you're called back to your being. To realize, to recognize what we call awaken from that dream to yourself as your, your real self, your real deep self as existence, as the source of all of it, right inherent in the depth of being. But you cannot rest here, you cannot really come here and drink if you carry these very lovely stories. You know? And if you don't get it while well, in the body, in this life, to just know how to... <coughs> Stories will always be there. They're always there. They have their reality. It all has its reality. But to know it for what it is and to cut it free and know your free being, no matter what. To know your free being, no matter what. Because every story is pointing to that. And at some point, this body will... And what matters then? What matters in that moment? Whether you go out in the greatest orgasm ever, where you go out like, I didn't get it right, you know? So it's ego death and it's a constant, it's, it's our daily life that is the invitation. So we have a little time here today and